We're here at the 2022 Timber Processing and Energy Expo. One of the reasons we're here is to find out what customers are looking for, what's lacking in the industry. So a couple of the sensor technologies we're demonstrating here are uh, the G200 series, the GoCater 200 series that are used for optimizing and grading lumber. Uh, they utilize geometric data for measurement, uh, color vision, as well as trachea. So uh, we use those three technologies to find the dimensions of the lumber, as well as find knots and other defects. We build smart sensors, so they have built-in uh, software and uh, tools that allow you to take measurements as well as find defects without going into software programming. You don't have to be a programmer to utilize these sensors. We work with companies like LMI using the scanners from LMI as our data acquisition. We primarily use the 2300 series of sensor. So from the scanner, we're getting the point cloud data, either a, a face or a side and edge, and in some cases, a three-dimensional image of an entire log, for example. And bringing that point cloud data back into our software where we're actually then doing all the full analysis and trying to feed that back to our customers to give them the solution that we designed. Yes, yeah, so if we take the stem scanner as an example, the stems are being fed through a conveyor or on a belt and then the GoCater sensors that we're using are collecting all of that data, a profile by profile model that we then put together, create this 3D rendering of it that we then go through the optimization process and then send off a decision to be executed by the controls team. In that case, it's determining where we should cut the log to either capitalize on volume or capitalize on value. And then later down in the process of the sawmill or the planer mill, what we're doing is we are either determining where we should trim it or even just how we should sort it. I love the engineering design process that goes into creating these software solutions, really understanding what the inputs need to be and what the outputs need to be and how we can get there. But I'm also a bit of a sawmill geek now. I just find it so cool to be able to see these systems going from some input like a stem, going through a scanner, going through a bunch of saws and coming out as usable lumber. Uh, customers are always wanting to go faster. They're always wanting to have more density. I guess we just look forward to better and better sensors coming from LMI and uh, getting them out there in the field and making money for customers. We've been in uh, the wood products industry developing sensors and supplying sensors the business since the 1970s and we are continually uh, finding ways to improve our products and develop new sensor technology uh, that will benefit the uh, wood products industry going forward. Elmi is truly dedicated to that customer relationship. You know, every department understands that, that they are part of customer service. No matter what it is, we band together and find ways to solve the problem. For example, recently with all the supply chain issues, how can we rearrange things to get uh, product to the customer in a timely manner? We didn't cause any installation delays with our customers and I'm, I'm really proud of that that fact that we survived global supply chain challenges without significantly impacting our customers installation schedules. In closing I want to thank everybody that came to the show, thank you for the customers that stopped by to talk to us and uh, look forward to the next show.